Hey everybody, welcome back to Major League Baseball. Today we got a couple of stories, but there's one really big story that could impact minor league baseball forever. So essentially what's happening is, as many of you probably very well know, minor leaguers make minimum wage. Um, unless they've ever been called up to the majors and sent down for something, they make minimum wage, which is seven twenty-five an hour. Over the course of a year, this adds up to about $12,000 a year which is not a very sustainable amount. However, Congress now wants to uh, implement a spending act for $1.3 trillion, and you'd think that would actually benefit the minor leaguers, but it doesn't. If this act were to pass, then teams would be allowed to play minor leaguers as little as $1,100 a month, which is less than minimum wage. Obviously, this is not good as the way the system is currently set up, you pretty much have to go through the minor leagues in order to get to the big leagues. So if they were to implement this, then players would just probably give up after a year or two if they don't make it to the majors. It's crazy already with how little they make, so it's not worth doing for most of them most likely, but I wouldn't like to see that act passed at all. I think they're fine with what they have now, and if anything, they should be increasing how much they get paid. There's also for the big time high draft pick prospects will get a big signing bonus but most players do not get that signing bonus they either come from like an independent league or they're a low draft pick that just kind of works their way up or something like that so if anything they should get more so definitely do not want this act to get passed also in the news today Miguel Cabrera is not very happy with where he is with the Tigers if you don't know he signed a huge contract with the Tigers a little while back once they traded them from the Florida Marlins. They were Florida at the time. And that contract was a $192 million deal. That doesn't end until 2024. So clearly Detroit saw a really good player in Cabrera at the time, which he, he's still pretty good. He's had a down year last season. Um, but this article that Bleacher Report posted was just saying pretty much how he's not happy and that he doesn't really know any of his teammates' names because they're rebuilding, so they're trading all sorts of people and trying to get something going with all these young players. So he's just, according to them, he just refers to everyone as dude and doesn't actually know their names, which is kind of funny and also kind of sad at the same time. That's the reality of it now, though. A lot of teams are trying to rebuild. I'm actually wrote an article about that too a while back. I might link that below. But that's the nature of the game now. The Cubs did it, the Astros did it, and now that they've seen how quick they turned around, every other team wants to do that. Because that's the ultimate goal, just to win a world championship. And our last story of the day, Mike Trout has not struck out all spring training. He's played in 15 games and had 44 plate appearances and has not struck out once yet, which is pretty pretty crazy to think. Because it's he was played 15, I think there's been like... 19 or 20 ish games pretty crazy to not strike out in 44 plate appearances now i know spring doesn't mean anything obviously but mike trout has shown for the past five six years that he's the best player in baseball and doesn't plan on slowing down anytime soon but that's going to be it for today though guys if you enjoyed be sure to drop a like and let me know what you thought in the comments about all this and with that being said i'll see you on the next one